Mayday, mayday, mayday. It's a slot check <laughs> octopus. Yeah, let's take a chance. Oh, and on the bush. Quarter inch. Is that a three quarter inch? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Um, I might have broke our seacock or a sink, and to fix it, we're going to have to plug from the outside. I don't really know yet. In or layman's terms, what did you do? Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I went to thread this pipe fitting into our existing old ass seacock, which is the one that I said we should swap out before we left, and then I didn't do it. And then I just broke it, and then the seacock is what keeps your boat from sinking. So now we are at a higher sinking. Seacock is a ball valve. Ball valve that keeps salt water on the outside and people on the inside. And I'm in a dangerous position of mixing those two. The whole reason this started was because the sink wasn't draining. Yeah, and now and our boat's so in the sink. We kept trying to figure out why it wouldn't go through, you know, the hole in the bottom of the boat. But now we have a whole new problem. <laughs> so if I uh, push this, water comes in. So I guess the fear is that this has been so brittle that the rest of it is also brittle. So if it breaks off. Uh, a realization of fear. <laughs> then we're. We have water coming in the boat. So we have to jam it in there like we did the tram ran. We're ready. Put it right there. What have you done? I took it off. Why? I'm fixing it. Why didn't you maybe notify the crew of your... There's no water in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to, you know, scare the innocent. There's a hole in the boat though. No, there's not a hole in the boat. What is it? I took the old valve out. Get this. Took the old ball valve and put a little wrench on there where the handle used to be. And eased. So I opened this guy up so the water was squirting out. I eased that one closed so I knew it was closed. And I took this off. What do you think of all that? Foolproof plan for yeah, sure. Yeah, there's no problems there. <laughs> there's nothing to it. This looks like a little seacock action. For sure, folks. Just like me. Always focused. <laughs> yeah, last I. You said you were going to go get diesel. I decided not to get diesel. <laughs> Here's hear, my plan. Hear me out. I decided if the boat sinks, we shouldn't have a lot of diesel. Well, I don't want to invest the money in the diesel. <laughs> that broke really easy, though. The good news is that uh, the transmission, that clank that we heard, we think it was just a bracket that was holding up our exhaust. So our transmission is okay, and we can now go reverse and forward and all that stuff. So, so that's good. One problem fixed itself. It's better than the more ones I keep making. Yeah, exactly. Our friends Eleanor Tar just arrived. I'm so excited. We met Eleanor Tar on our first trip over here when we were on Lorax, and they're just generally awesome people. And now they're gonna be our best friends. <laughs> you can't leave us forever. <laughs> <laughs> but they just anchored next to us. Just to say, if they had a vlog, you'd be wasting time watching ours. Yeah, that's true. Okay, one of the things that Tim did uh, when we were sailing together last time is that he would always make these limericks and say them over the radio. Which I'm a little scared to do, but I'm gonna try and do it. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've all been in the brine. Now we're back at last, we need to catch up on the past. Things may be a little less wild, I mean, you do have a child. But we're all still young at heart, we'll still ask to bomb parts. Eleanor Tar, Eleanor Tar, Eleanor Tar, come find your friends from afar. Yeah, and the old school over there. <laughs> It rhymed, so, yeah. you know. Eleanor Tar, Eleanor Tar, Eleanor Tar, Flapjack Octopus. Young people cruising without radios on. Should we just go over there? Well, it's blowing the fun bit, but yeah, sure. So today we are at Elbow Key. We left Marsh Harbor with Eleanor Tar, and now we're here at Elbow Key. And now today we're headed south a little bit more um, because there's supposed to be a really calm day coming up and there's a preserve near Sandy Key that I really want to go to, but it takes a pretty calm day in order to snorkel and be able to moor the boats out. 
and they're traveling with us for at least a little while so we're all headed there today we are taking a route that's a bit shallow and their boat draws how much does their boat draw five and a half, five and a half feet and we draw four so we're gonna go first that way if we hit anything or if we hit any shallow spots we can tell them ahead of time and yeah what would they do turn around or what if we hit the ground yeah, yeah turn around. and go the different way just throttle up yeah. You may notice that my face is like broken out and that's because I read online somewhere that you can use witch hazel to tone your face but I used it every single day. And it's actually an astringent. Yeah so I basically did like a chemical peel on my face and it's healing nicely but it's a little bit irritated at the moment. <laughs> Eleanor Tar, Eleanor Tar, Eleanor Tar, Flapjack Octopus. Flapjack Octopus, this is Eleanor Tar. Hey, are you guys about ready to take off? Yes, we are. How about you folks? Yeah, I think Spencer's, we're going to raise the main and then uh, motor out, but uh, you guys will be shortly behind us. So we'll just, do you want to monitor this channel so we can give you a heads up if we hit anything shallow? Would love that. Sounds like a great plan. Okay, sounds good. We'll stand by on 6-9. So Eleanor turn 6-9. Six, six, uh, Project. <laughs> with no one running aground we did discover that our depth sounder is a foot off so <laughs> we were a terrible lead boat and got them one inch from hitting the ground and they were like flying at like five 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 i think <laughs> uh, yeah that's why we're never the lead boat so now we're hooked up eating a little snack and then we're gonna go diving welcome aboard waffle squid let's go Barracuda? Yeah. I hate barracudas. I don't like barracudas. Thanks. 
thanks for watching fries if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe make sure you're signed in and then when you hit the subscribe button you hit the little bell so you get notifications when you do subscribe that's cool B. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank Hickory and Stanley for checking out our channel that's it, that's it. <laughs> yeah I want to thank them you don't want to say anything else about them what do I say about it? I'm really glad you didn't buy our trimaran. Yeah, that's a good call. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Fries. See you next week. Bye. Coming up next time on Sailing with the Lifting Burgers. Today we're going to my favorite place in Africa. <laughs>